Good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 6.34 in the evening on Sunday, February 6th, 2022. 6.34, Sunday, February 6th, 2022. And we have the forecast for uh, nine different countries, I believe it is. We'll start with uh, California. And... We have this warning still in effect for Southern California for the 4th of February through the 7th of February. And you can see this 3.5 earthquake just hit uh, southeast of Los Angeles, uh, right there in the 92% risk area. However, the risk still remains very high in Southern California. So still expecting that's probably a foreshock, still expecting a 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake in Southern California, the 4th through the 7th, which includes today and tomorrow. So uh, still be on alert in Southern California. I believe it's not over. That 3.5 is most likely a foreshock for 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake in Southern California, most likely down near the San Diego area. And that 3.5 could possibly be a foreshock. So we'll see. So stay on alert in Southern California. Looking for a strong earthquake down there during the next, well, about uh, 30 to 36 hours. Alaska, if you, uh, let's look at that real quick here. That was for the forecast from yesterday. And you can see this five point, this 5.2 earthquake hit uh, on the uh, late on the 5th into the 6th of February, uh, just north of Anchorage. And you can see, our, we put out a warning yesterday on the, our Alaska Facebook page for uh, very high risk in the Anchorage area. And that hit 5.2 hit just north of Anchorage uh, during this forecast period. So this forecast still remains for the 6th through the 9th. And uh, you can see there's very high risk across uh, from the Anchorage all the way down to uh, Kodiak. So if you live in that area, be on alert from the 6th through the 9th, still very high risk in that area. Also on the 7th to the 10th, very high risk in the area uh, near Juneau, Alaska. And you can check out these forecasts at quakeprediction.com. Greece, from the 4th through the 7th and the 5th through the 8th, very high risk in uh, Northern Greece. I believe there was a 4.1 so far that's hit up in this area, but still expecting something stronger. 5.0 larger is likely in uh, Northwestern to Northern Greece uh, during the next uh, about 48 hours, during the next 48 hours. In Chile, the risk, let's look back here. I think this is, uh, yeah, this is the risk, the fifth through the eighth. You can see it's centered near La Serena, 73%. And then the risk grows to 86% northwest of Santiago, the sixth through the ninth. And it increases even more northeast of Santiago on the seventh through the tenth. So uh, you know where you live on this uh, forecast map. You can check it out at quickprediction.com. And you can follow those three forecasts, 73% uh, near La Serena, and then on the 6th through the 9th, down near um, northwest of Santiago, Chile, and then on the 7th through the 10th, northeast of Santiago, Chile. Indonesia, we have a very strong and high risk here. If you remember uh, a couple of days back, we had a uh, warning out uh, for that western part of Sumatra, and we got a 5.2 in the warning area. Now, this risk area is huge across Sumatra. So I would expect a 6.0 to 7.0 is possible uh, from the 7th through the 11th of February with this forecast uh, map. Um, Whenever this happens, when you get risk extending across the whole area like that, uh, there's usually a very strong earthquake. So a 
a 6.0 to 7.0 earthquake as possible in Sumatra, uh, February 7th to February 11th. In Italy, the risk remains in this area through, uh, through the 6th today. And then on the 7th through the 10th, it's pretty much the same area there, East Central Italy, extending over to uh, Croatia. Peru, the 4th through the 7th, very high risk down in South Central Peru. And then um, the risk after that begins to move up here to west of, of uh, Lima, Peru. And you can check that out at quickprediction.com. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, Japan, the risk right now, the 6th through the 9th of February, is down here near uh, Kumamoto to Miyazaki, south of uh, Tokyo. And then on the 7th through the 10th, the risk is from Akita, Aomori, uh, Morioka, and, and Sendai, the northern part of Japan here, on the 7th through the 10th. So right now, this looks like the most uh, highest risk from the 6th through the 9th down there. All right, once again, we got this uh, 5.2 earthquake in uh, <coughs> north, of Alaska, north of Anchorage, Alaska. And that corresponded with this forecast here. We said very high risk in uh, the Anchorage area. And uh, there's that 5.2. So, uh, at that and then here's that 3.5 earthquake that hit down in uh, southeast of LA, uh, south of Corona, and uh, east of Irvine. So we're still expecting a uh, <laughs> strong earthquake in Southern California during the next about 36 hours. The uh, this forecast warning is through the seventh, so looking for a strong earthquake in Southern California during the next uh, 36 hours. Please check out these uh, forecast maps over at uh, quakeprediction.com. Again, uh, looking for a strong earthquake in Southern California, also uh, 6.0 to 7.0 is possible in Sumatra, Indonesia, uh, the 7th through the 11th. So keep an eye on that. Thanks again to the 187,000 followers uh, and uh, on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And um, 17 years of research, and we are making a lot of progress. Uh, we're moving forward and uh, that 3.5 earthquake that just hit Southeast of LA is uh, most likely a foreshock. And, um, and then we'll keep an eye on that and we should get about a 5.5 earthquake during the next 36 hours. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you tomorrow.